Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. Uh, last episode, we made it to this planet here. We're basically working on improving our standing with the Gek, so that way I can work towards getting improved uh, warp drive capabilities so I can get to the other stars and stuff like that. I should have been focusing on this earlier in this playthrough, but I just, it, I don't know why I didn't, but uh, that's what we're doing now. And right now we're on a currently, we're currently on a mission to uh, scan minerals and not to break our ankles. Thank you, ship. I appreciate that. Sweet Jesus. <sighs> so, uh, just got to scan four minerals. There's one. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah eat it, man. Just eat it. You too. Let's see here. Uh, do you have a space music mix in the background, or is this the game in music? Uh, this is the end game music. The music in this game is fantastic. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, 65 Days of Static was the band that they worked on to create like a dynamic type of um, soundscape for the game. So yeah, any any like the intense music with like a lot of drums and stuff like that, that's that's stuff that the I guess the game composer worked with uh, 65 days of static on. So it's awesome, I think. Well that's not a mineral. Should be good. Nice. Let's head back. Anything interesting, though? Antonio. Oh, we got a couple of interesting things there. Let's check that out. Oh, that's Frostwort or whatever. I'm not too worried about that. Plutonium. Lots of plutonium. I think we're good. Yes, yeah, let's, let's get on out of here. Alasaurus has added a bunch of new tracks. Yeah, that sounds about right, because I remember noticing something a little different. Oh, there's not enough freaking fuel in the thruster. Awesome. I do remember noticing something like that before, so... Who's that? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the save point. Got it. Oh no, bot needs to respond. There we go. <laughs> okay. That's an interesting one. There we go. Let's turn in something. Let me get my rink. I want my rink. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So what, three more? Three more, I think. Two more, sweet. And do I have anything in my inventory that I could use? Probably not. We have one get charm. We can maybe use that back at the other location. Used to have a mod up on the No Man's Sky modding website, and it was a bunch of musical amb ambiences made to replace the default game music. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. Was it like music you've made, or is it just stuff you found and kind of put together? I mean, if it's stuff that you've made, then we could talk about maybe adding that mod to the game and, and like showcasing your music on the, the stream if you're interested in something like that. But if it's other people's music, then I'll get copywritten for that. So, oh, it's stuff you made yourself. Nice. Nice. So, uh, so, so then are you a musician then? Uh, what kind of instruments and stuff you get into? Scan minerals again. I will just continue scanning stuff until they don't let me scan stuff anymore. I'm fine with that. Uh, go see if we can make a get happy over here. 
via Geek Charms, and not any other terrible ways. That may sound uh, weird by saying that statement earlier. <laughs> Mainly produce digital stuff with playing guitar, bass, and piano. Nice. Nice. I play a little music myself, so that's 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 cool. Fellow musician. I'm not amazing or anything by any means, but. Uh, oh, I should have read that. I, I, I'm sitting here chatting with people, not reading. Okay. Um, let's do multi-tool inspection. Lifeform presents presents me with a new technology. Here we. Javelin, blaze javelin drill array. That's interesting. Mining capability by small mount. Oh, so I'd already have to have the blaze javelin or whatever. I don't know. Will you shut up, please? Go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, friend, get trading federation something something. Trader recently emitted a sweet smelling gas. As scent filters through my breathing apparatus, I wonder at the extra sales this odd evolution and communication must have secured for this strange species. Let's request dialogue help. Or whatever his name teaches me a word of their language. Tracks were mostly ambient drones and creepy little piano cascades. So, like you'd be on a dead planet and I have this really horrifying bass drone with a creepy detuned piano soaring. Oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. Trader wants to make uh, itself understood. They click their beak slowly and nods their head encouragingly. A small line of drool glistens in the rays cast by the facility's lighting apparatus. Let's give them a get charm. Broker, whatever accepts, accepts my gift with gratitude. Hooray. All right, so one more. One more. I love the combat music alone. However, a 65 days of statics work is amazing. Absolutely, man. Uh, Heat Death Infinity Splitter is like my favorite song by them. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Hey, we're friends now. So I can go. I can go get a blueprint. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm so excited to go to a different type of system. Okay, do I have enough? So, there we go. Hyperdrive benef benefits from advanced fusion that bring Starship to higher warp speed and intensity. Users' craft will be able to leap deeper into space and into more distant planetary systems. Warp core output cap to avoid certain core meltdown. Uh, uncontaminated Thamium-9 fusion and death. Ooh, user advised to access hyperdrive systems through galactic map. All right, so we need a couple of dynamic resonators, some nickel, and some fungal mold. All right. Anything else, though? I mean, there's a pulse jet, but I'm not really interested in pulse jet. He's just going on and on and on. He's telling me a story. He's singing me the song of his people, I think. It's fine. It's fine. I need to get a couple of those uh, reactors. Dynamic resonators is, is, is what I'm trying to get at. I wonder if there's guys out here that will sell stuff to me. All of the other early Doctor Who themes. Oh. Yeah, Doctor Who's so good. I need to get caught up on the latest Doctor. Capaldi, I think. I don't know why. I just haven't had a chance. Oh, because they took it off Netflix. That's why. <laughs> that's why I haven't watched them. Okay, let's see what you have to sell. You have a couple of resonators? You have zero. Okay. Give me resonators. I require them. There we go. Give me two of them, please. Yeah, I think that works. Awesome. Okay, now I need nickel. Uh, let's see if any of these plants out here have nickel. Because I believe one of the systems I was in recently had those nickel arches. I think they were nickel at least. Yeah, the female doctor. Okay, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get caught up. I'm like two seasons behind then apparently. Three, well, I don't know how many seasons Capaldi did though. That's the thing. Nickel. Yeah, there we go. Mouthburn, hey buddy. Oh man. <laughs> uh, I've been mostly modless for the last little bit. 
uh, I, I gave Nero uh, temp mod status because we had nobody. We were having some troubles early on. Okay, looking for some nickel stuff. Let's go ahead and drop here. I'm sure we'll find some. It's all good, man. I know life happens. Oh, man. I really wish my ship would stop doing that. Ninety-nine rescues. Oh, cool, cool. Is that your race to one hundred you were talking about? Okay, so I'm looking for nickel. There's some over there. Any nearby though? Nope. I have to make my way over. Oh, okay, cool, man. You get there. Almost. Oh, hey, death trap. Hearing water. There's no water on this planet. I wonder if it's one of my live desktop things, if it has water sounds that needs to be turned down. Let me get up to this nickel and I'm gonna check. There we go. Alright, let me check my desktop just real quick. It is not water over there, and it is not water over there. Okay, I was just hearing stuff then. <laughs> How many did I need? I, I have no idea. Oh, okay. 460-something now. That'll take a little bit of time. I gotta stop overheating. <laughs> that might be what it is. It's my brain sloshing around in my head is what it is. Two hundred left. Are there any other nickel things in the area? Plenty of plutonium. Themen and or nickel. The things I'm looking for right now. Oh yeah, for the next update? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Uh, something like a 12 hour stream. Minimum, depending on activity, viewership, and subscriber rate, and stuff like that. 15 days, yeah. I've uh, already requested my time off today. I'm requesting both the 24th and the 25th off, so that way, if I do happen to stay up like super late on the 24th, uh, then I can get some rest the next day. That's Heridium, I think. It's not Nickel. I've been walking towards it anyway. There's some nickel over there. <laughs> 15 days. Indeed. Am I supposed to be scanning stuff again? I think I am. But, uh... 
I've already scanned everything on this planet. I'd love to meet up with you on release day if possible. I've been waiting for multiplayer for like two years. So yeah, right. Well, you, you know that multiplayer is technically in the game <laughs> currently. But yeah, uh, like full on multiplayer. That's, that's going to be great. The like actual proper multiplayer is what, what I'm looking forward to. But yeah, man, if uh, if you're free that day and multiplayer, like getting to each other is, you know, easy, <laughs> then uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to join up. Everybody can join up. That's kind of the idea of streaming for so long, so that way people in different areas uh, will have different chances throughout the day to come and hang out. You know, I'm not going to walk the entire three minutes. I should just call my ship on over. I have a mod room to schedule mods. Um never really had a need to schedule mods, per se. I mean, we coordinate. We have a mod chat on Discord. Yeah, all multiplayer is currently is uh, you just see like this floaty orb and you can make a uh, some sort of memorial type thing, some sort of memorial beacon. It's funny. It's, an, it's not proper multiplayer, but it is multiplayer in the most basic sense. Okay, so what's next? I need a uh, fungal mold. And I don't know... That's the one I was just on. So is there another planet here? I don't think there is. And then there is the anomaly over there. Let's go check that out. Keith, what's up, buddy? I still don't see these streams on my YouTube homepage though. So uh, just adds up live to code it. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m. Um, so the best thing to do is if you really enjoy hanging out on the streams and stuff and you want to, you know, come hang out during my streams, just uh, set a reminder for yourself because YouTube notifications kind of suck, honestly. Um, and even if I do a different game or whatever, I, I, I usually am here. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know if I've already been to this station. I may have, but I'm going to check it out anyway. Step below. All right, you, friend, visit the worst places you can find. Stay alive. No good to me dead, are you? Can't learn much from a corpse. Although, no, never mind. Stay alive. <laughs> At last, Polo is affable once again. A nod, a smile, even a comp companionable tap on the arm at one point. A friendship renewed. A blush when the get mechanic tells me that they hope I live a long, healthy life. I have to swallow disappointment when it transpires that Polo's true motivation is to study how my suit responds to long-term long exposure to extreme climates. Ooh, apparently I've not gotten to that yet, so I'll do that later, I guess. All right. Let's talk to Nada. Physics simplistic, chemistry arbitrary, existence fragile. I'm terrified, traveler friend. Uh oh. Not to watch the suns flare out and die on their panels. Molecules sparking sparking in and out of existence in matching matched pairs. Uh, there are repeated patterns all across the galaxy. Identical elements where there should be endless divergence. This cannot be a coincidence. Did the Atlas do this? Across the room, Polo giggles. Uh, let's do the path of the Atlas. Not on Mark's location of Atlas interface. I hope they I hope they hope I find what I'm searching for. Sweet. But I need fungal mold. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to jump to another system. 
And by jump to another system, I mean probably go back to the station and jump back to the other location because I'm pretty sure that I saw fungal mold on one of the other planets that I've been recently at. At recently. One or the other. Coming in sideways. Excuse me. <laughs> I love how it just sucks you in, no problem. Let's see here. No, this way. I don't know why I keep thinking that the uh Transfer station or whatever is on the other side. The terminal, I guess. Terminus, okay. I have no idea life encoded. Or decoded, excuse me. <laughs> the other direction. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how that works. I mean, I would assume that at the bare minimum, both players would have to have the same mods or multiplayer with mods that will not be supported. Probably connection error or something like that. Nice man pan. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to see what they're doing with it. Radium. Nice man, Pan. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. Starbolt, copper. Not what I'm looking for. What you got? Any fungal mold? That's possible too, Mouthburn, yeah. Nope. That one's what I need. get past this planet. There is a net in here. That's not cool. Crush crystal. Nope. Before sure he was right and the entire in-game universe collapses in on itself and the second someone with mods connects to... Yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah. That'd be some interesting things. I'm sure that there's going to be issues. They're probably just focused on getting the uh, vanilla game connected to other people with vanilla and then they'll probably deal with mod support later if at all we go and recharge everything just because we can there are other are, are there any other planets here I think that was pretty much it here Let's go uh, back to my base area. Whoops. I got some Thamium, though. Yeah, well, um, I'm hoping they release some sort of trailer before it goes live to get people hyped up and excited. But, I mean, they're probably just going to drop it and be done. Just my guess. Oh, is there a planned trailer in the works? I did not realize that. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, that's... Am I understanding that Hawaiian? Is there is there one that we're expecting? Uh, let's go to the base. And Marco, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Welcome, welcome. Oh, was it? Okay. Hmm. I'm going to have to go back and watch that interview again. Hey, buddy. Okay. Let's get over to the ship.
There he is. Bionic Slasher, 96. Thank you for following on Mixer. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let's see what we got. Fungal mold, fungal mold. Nope, not quite. Oh, waiting for it to recharge. Gamma roots. Nope. Is that it, though? I think that might be it. Unless there's one on the other side of this planet. Whoa, hey, slow down. Yeah, uh... Shit, okay. Let's go back to the base. Find another location. Is it Firebrine? I'm glad you like the name. It's a fun name. Uh, let's continue. Coming in sideways, there we go. Okay. We'll find some fungal mold without having to jump soon. Alright, Mouthburn. Go do your thing, buddy. Let's go to the this guy. <laughs> Indeed it does. I'm surprised it takes me it's taken me this long to find fungal mold. Because I remember distinctly seeing that in a recent planet scan. Planetary scan. Nope. Oh, I love this track. It's one of my favorites. Camera root. Waiting for the charge. Selenium. There's another guy over here. Oh my gosh. Are you are you serious right now? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a gnat in here driving me nuts. It's disgusting. Okay, well, it looks like we are going to be doing some jumping. Unfortunately. I can't drive, apparently. It's not for lack of trying. Hmm. Okay, so I want to go to that one. That guy. Yeah. Do one more quick check on that system and then we'll have to hop galaxies. I was trying to avoid doing that to spare some warp fuel, but it is what it is. I think this is this. Yeah, the the planet here is like desolate, so we're not gonna find any fungal mold here. So I'm gonna have to jump. All right. 
so. Okay. What if... Okay, let's, let's get out of here. Okay, stop moving, please. There we go. I'm going to assume... Yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Nope, not that one, not that one. Not that one. This one. No, not that one. Oh my god. This one. Oh, yeah, we might be lucky here. Let's go to that one. Uh, hyperdrive has no fuel. Crap. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Uh, M to leave. Okay. Let's, let's fix that. I pushed the wrong thing again. Apparently M is map. Not... I'm ashamed of myself. Okay, so I need to craft some stuff. I need 92 more thingy, but hey, we got enough to jump, I think, at least one. Let's try that again. What is, why is that highlighted? Okay, that's one place I've been, that's why. Let's do it. Okay, this is Corvax. Okay. Have I already been here? I mean, because it was already telling me what was here. Cross crystal. Oh, hello. Cross crystal. This one looks yellow. Maybe, maybe this is what we need. Star bulb. Oh man, you're not gonna work with me, are you? Kind of want to check out the tropical planet though, just to see what that's all about. Gamma root. All right, not quite what I needed. Yeah, let's go check this place out. Take a little bit of time to get there, but it'll be fine. Let's go ahead. Okay, apparently don't have any iron, so we're probably not gonna make it. With one minute left, yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh well, we can mine some up. While we're out here and then uh, collect more when we're down on the surface. Assuming the planet has iron, of course. There it is. Okay. Cool. You know what? I think I'm actually going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll go ahead and collect our fuel and get on down to this uh, this crazy uh, tropical planet because it might be interesting. Just, just want to check it out. So, guys, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like what I do, hit the like button. If you want to help my channel grow, guys, share my videos, share my live streams, leave likes, leave comments, all that good stuff. The more you guys participate, the bigger we grow. Definitely want to do that. So, I appreciate all the support you guys give me every single day. Thank you guys so much. You guys rock. And uh, just a heads up, we got a giveaway going on. So make sure you check the link in the description for more information. Also, I'm working on a project with TJ Mines for his book, Dubois. Working on getting an audiobook created. And we have a uh, Kickstarter page up and going. So if you want to help support us, get that off the ground. Make sure you check that link in the description as well. So guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.